Hello viewer and welcome to another briefing on world affairs, international relations and economic history with Cracked TV. Today's focus, time to go BRICS Plus, Mexico sizes US property risk invasion. US concerned by Mexican seizure of Alabama company's port. The US State Department stated its concerns about the equitable treatment of American enterprises in Mexico. Following the seizure of a cargo terminal by Mexican authorities that belonged to a company with headquarters in Alabama, the U.S. State Department raised worry on Tuesday over the fair treatment of U.S. companies in Mexico after Mexican police seized a cargo port operated by a corporation with headquarters in Alabama. The second week of the Mexican occupation of the Caribbean freight port began on Tuesday. It appears that Cemex, a Mexican cement and aggregates company, has used the port, which is under police supervision, to offload cargo. On Tuesday, the Alabama business Vulcan Materials alleged that law enforcement officers still hadn't given them any evidence to back up the seizure. Instances like this could hinder efforts to achieve our shared goal of improving living conditions in one of Mexico's most economically distressed regions, according to the State Department. This has an impact on Mexico's efforts to attract new investments. Calls for comments from Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador's administration have gone unanswered. The president and Vulcan have been openly battling for more than a year. He needs the pier to get cement, crushed stone, and other supplies into the area so that he can develop his side project, the Train Maya Tourist Train. Despite the fact that it looks some of the cement that was shipped last week is going there, the president has promised to complete the Maya train project by the end of the year. Last Tuesday, according to Vulcan, police allegedly forced their way onto the dock in Punta Venado, adjacent of Playa del Carmen. It should be obvious, the company claimed in a statement, that foreign enterprises in Mexico no longer have the protection of the law. This incursion, which was not permitted by legal warrants, infringed Vulcan's property and economic rights. A lease for a part of the cargo port between the Mexican company Cemex and Vulcan allegedly ran out on December 31 and was not renewed. Although while Cemex acknowledged the contract had reached its expiration date, it insisted that its attempts to renegotiate it had been ineffective. According to Cemex, three further contracts with Vulcan were still in effect. The state prosecutor's office gave injunctive relief and a legal warrant to enter the site and continue operating according to Semex, after Vulcan was charged with a crime. The phrase is strange because such injunctions are frequently issued by federal courts rather than prosecutors in Mexico, and such disputes are rarely resolved through criminal accusations. In order to stabilize the Maya train's rails, Lopez Obrador has been forced to import ballast or crushed stone from Cuba because no local resources are available. Nonetheless, trucks are required to convey ships delivering Cuban ballast nearly 180 miles, 300 kilometers, from the port of Sizzle, on the Yucatan Peninsula's Gulf of Mexico side, to some railroad building locations. The supplies from Cuba, as well as extra shipments of cement and steel, can only be handled via the private freight dock maintained by Vulcan on the Caribbean side. Negotiations do not seem to have gone well despite Lopez Obrador's offer to buy the property. The limestone quarry owned by Vulcan was shut down in May and the firm was forbidden from exporting stone, which has long been used in building projects in the US and Mexico. The president said that the company had shipped unlawfully excavated stones, Vulcan asserted to possess those permits. Lopez Obrador wants to develop the water-filled quarry into a theme park to compete with the nearby Excarit Park. He asks Vulcan to build a cruise ship port at the freight station as well. By creating a rough loop around the Yucatan Peninsula, the 1,500-kilometer, 950-mile, Maya railway line connects coastal resorts and historical sites. Lopez Obrador promotes the railway as a way to share some of Cancun's tourism income with rural areas that haven't reaped the benefits. Yet there are no trustworthy feasibility studies showing that visitors would choose to take the railway. Pressure is continuing to build on the Mexican government over its military seizure of American company property in its eastern state of Quintana Roo earlier this month. The entire bipartisan Alabama congressional delegation is uniting in support of Vulcan Materials, a Birmingham-based company, demanding the government immediately withdraw its troops. In a Wednesday letter to Mexican Ambassador Esteban Moctezuma Barragan, Alabama Reps Gary Palmer, R. Terry Sewell, D. Robert Aderholt, R. Barry Moore, R. Jerry Carl, R. 
Dale Strom, R, at Mike Rogers, R, along with Sens, Katie Britt, R, and Tommy Tuberville, R, called the Mexican military's entry onto Vulcan's property unlawful and requested he meet with the delegation for an explanation. While these events on their own are concerning enough, it seems that this is just the latest in a pattern of the Mexican government ignoring the rule of law. The lawmakers wrote in the letter, describing numerous instances they said the Mexican government had harassed the company prior to the seizure. With Vulcan's headquarters in Birmingham, Alabama, we write to request the military presence from Vulcan's property be immediately withdrawn and that you schedule a meeting with our delegation to discuss these troubling events. They added, Palmer, who is leading the delegation's effort, said in a statement following the letter being sent to Moctezuma that once the situation is resolved, they would need assurances a similar situation wouldn't occur in the future. This action by the Mexican military is unprovoked and unacceptable, he said. The Mexican government needs to immediately recall their troops from Vulcan Materials Port and ensure it will not happen again. The Alabama delegation and I have requested a meeting with the Mexican ambassador, preferably at the earliest possible time. I look forward to receiving a prompt response from Ambassador Esteban Moctezuma, he added. According to Vulcan, the largest producer of construction aggregates in the U.S., members of the Mexican Navy, local state police, along with federal investigators, entered the quarry just south of Playa del Carmen in Mexico's Quintana Roo state in the early morning hours of March 14 and has remained since. The company said the seizure was likely due to the breakdown of contract negotiations between it and CEMAX, a Mexican materials company with which it had previously provided services, and ongoing tensions with the Mexican government over its mining operations. Vulcan Materials Seizure this screenshot of a security video provided by Vulcan Materials shows Mexican police and military entering the company's facility in Quintana Roo, Mexico on March 14, 2023. The State Department told Fox News Digital on Tuesday that it was concerned about the seizure and warned of the potential impacts such action could have on trade and future economic opportunities for Mexico. The department added that it, as well as the U.S. Embassy in Mexico, were actively engaged in the situation with the Mexican government. Moctezuma's office did not respond to Fox's request for comment concerning the seizure. That's where we wrap things up for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.